Hey again, everyone. Welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, today we are going to start the Super Order uh, contract in Michigan. This is that one of the new um, contracts that was uh, added to Michigan after I had previously completed it. And as we look at it here, um, we will, you'll notice that it's actually quite a long uh, contract. Uh, so I will probably be breaking this up into multiple videos just because of how long I expect that this will take. This will probably take several hours to complete the entire the entire contract so yeah I'll probably be breaking this up into multiple videos um, so we're going to just start here with the uh, the Smithville dam version of it because it does require that we do these orders in these deliveries in order so we need to have fuel uh, consumables service spare parts and wooden planks which we can get the we can get the consumables here at the farm um, I also have a we can also get the wooden planks here at the uh, at the uh, lumber mill and I also have a trailer that is currently marked on the screen uh, right right here for the service spare parts um, the only thing that I can't get on the Black River map before we take it to the Smithville Dam is the fuel but we can actually get that once we get to Smithville Dam And in the first part of this video, um, I'm actually having to do some commentary after the fact. Um, I was an idiot and had my microphone muted for at least the uh, first several minutes of this video. And I'm also going to be um, editing out some of the driving in between the locations um, so just to kind of save you from having to watch the in transit part of it so I will see you uh, when we get to the lumber mill alright we're back um, we are Getting very close to the lumber mill where we can pick up our wood planks, which will be two of the four items that we need for the first part of this delivery. And as we bounce our way down this hill. And since we already have some wooden planks out here for <coughs> manual loading, we're going to go ahead and utilize the crane.
Alright, so we've got the wood planks. Now we're going to make our way over to the the other trailer and pick up our service spare parts. Since that's not very far, we're going to go ahead and just keep you guys here for a moment. My truck struggles to get up the hill. Just around this corner. Oh, we almost rolled right there. I know it doesn't have the same enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is when I was playing it live. And right now I'm realizing that I didn't unpack the cargo on the other trailer. So that means I have to detach this trailer, circle around, attach the other trailer, just so I can unpack the cargo. And I failed in backing up. trailer, unpack the cargo, detach the trailer, and now I'm realizing that I made a bit of a mistake, because the item that I need right here towards the front of this trailer and if I go around the other to the uh, other side oh uh, and at this point I'm, I'm Sorry, I, I'm checking the cargo to figure out which item it is that I need. That's why I went back. And so basically what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the icons that are in the top left under, under trailer 
to try to figure out which item is the service spare parts. And then I unpack the cargo again. And I'm going to detach the trailer. Or I repacked the cargo apparently because I wasn't sure. There we go. Now I'm sure. Got the tra trailer detached. And so what we're going to do is, since the item that I need is towards the front of this first trailer, I'm going to squeeze my truck in between. And utilize the crane. So we'll move the service bear parts over to that trailer. Just drop it. Restore our crane. trailer, unpack the cargo, Un unpack the cargo, well, I did eventually unpack the cargo and repack it, uh, you'll just have to trust me on this, but we are now heading for Smithville Dam, and we'll pick up our fuel once we get there and make the delivery. So, again, I'm going to save you guys from having to watch all of this. So I will talk to you when we get to Smithville Dam. And there's where I'm unpacking the cargo and repacking it. Because I realized that I was an idiot. Anyways, we'll see you again in just a minute. Alright, as you can see, we are loading into Smithville Dam. And let's take a quick look at the map here. And yes, we can pick up our fuel there. And we are dropping it off at the logistics base, which is um, been a while. Way the heck up there. Oh, it's going to be ugly. I don't like this. I don't like going up there. So yeah, we're going to be coming back this way down to here. And once we get here, we are going to make our way through the mud to there. Make a right, come up through here, make another right up the hill and through the mud before we finally get to the logistics base. But first, we need to get the fuel. Oh, and looking at the, the amount of fuel I have, I probably should put some gas in the actual truck. So here's the gas station. And like I said, because I'm a little concerned that we might run out of gas, we're going to fill it up. Then we're going to go over here. Put a load of fuel on the truck. Now we're just going to check again, just make sure. So we got, we got our wooden planks, we have our service spare parts, we have our fuel, and we have our consumables. We have everything we need to complete this order. 
So, take this little loop around. Make a right. Now I could take this road right here and it'll go to the same place as where we're going, but it's very muddy, it's very rocky, and we're going to get enough mud and rocks further down, so I'll save you guys from seeing that. Um, in fact, I'm going to see you guys once we actually get to the mud. Alright, we're back in here, and as you can see, we have arrived to the actual mud hole. We should be able to get through this without too much trouble. traction. Well, in one of the previous episodes I was talking about how when you honk the horn, certain items it can blow over or blow around. Watch this. Yeah. That's a little ridiculous, right? Anyways, um, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys back when we uh, get a little closer. Alright, we're back. Um, nothing too terribly exciting happened, but we are about to make a right onto the last road for this delivery. And I figured I would go ahead and share it with you guys because, yeah, what you see here on the right, that's the road! So we're gonna... And we've already got it in low and all-wheel drive, or sorry, diff lock. So we're going to be kind of crawling a little bit. Yeah, we got to make our way up this hill. I'm going to try to slide over here a little bit, see if we can get some more traction. Back in low and diff lock. So yeah, this part here is not too bad other than the deep mud and the slow going. But here in just a little bit, we go through this water that's coming up. We get up here just a little bit further to where we start going back downhill to the logistics base. Uh oh. I got stuck on something. So we'll winch. 
Um, but as I was starting to say, as we start down the hill to the logistics base, it gets a bit of a side hill, and if you're not careful, you will roll. So here's hoping that that doesn't happen. Okay, now that we're out of the mud, we can put it back into auto, which disengages diff lock. But we might be able to go a little faster if we can get some traction. So yeah, we get up and over this right here. Here's where it starts getting tricky. Phew! Made it! Uh, oh, kind of. Now we go through the deep mud. trying to stay off to the side a little bit where it's not as bad. Make a right and we made it. So we unload that, 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 and that. All right. And now it takes us to where we have to go to Island Lake. And I think I'm going to save that for another episode. Um, just that one delivery took me over a half hour. Um, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, we'll talk to you guys next time.